everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today, we're going to download and install OmniRig. Plus, we're going to install the latest rig definition files from the OmniRig website. Once we get that done, we'll configure it for a radio, and then we'll use Log for Old Men as an example on how to get it configured in a program. So with that, oh wait, please don't forget, click the subscribe button, will ya? I'd really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and join the show. Well, hi everybody, it's Stu, AG6AG, and uh, <clears throat> today I want to show you about OmniRig. OmniRig is a rig control daemon that manages cat connections from multiple pieces of software to a single or two radios. Um, there are a couple different versions of it out there. There was OmniRig and then OmniRig 2. Um, we're going to focus on OmniRig. Uh, the reason being is OmniRig 2 is kind of in development flux right now. They're renaming it. And ironically, none of the software that I want to run for my uh, amateur radio uh, logging or control or anything else runs yet on OmniRig 2. And I, actually, I think they renamed it to MultiRig 2 uh, just to uh, avoid some conflicts with the name that was happening and people installing OmniRig 2 instead of OmniRig. All that said, if you followed my basic install for Log for Old Men, you see that it asked if you want to install OmniRig, and I went ahead and said yes on that install. But just in case you said no and you got yourself configured, uh, let me show you how to get OmniRig up and going. Um, first off, I'm going to search OmniRig and what I'm looking for is the OmniRig DX Atlas software page. So the current version of OmniRig is 1.19. And uh, we're going to scroll down here. And we want to download. Let's go to the downloads page. We want to download OmniRig. And i got to scroll down. There it is. So we're going to download two files. We're going to download OmniRig and we're also going to download the INI files. These are the most current INI files that have been recently edited. All right, so we've got our two zip files down here. Let's go ahead and open OmniRig.zip and this here will have a little setup here. We're going to go ahead and run that. I'm just going to double click on it. And of course, with every single piece of open uh, free software, it's always going to ask for your OK. We'll go ahead and say yes. And it is all installed. Now, you're going to notice there's no shortcuts on the desktop anywhere, you know, anywhere on the desktop at all. So why is that? Well, um, because OmniRig kind of runs in the background. Now we also have this zip file here, right, that is, that's rig INI. I'm going to open that and these are all the rig definitions. So I am just going to, uh, let's see, I am going to just select all of these like so. And I'm going to select, uh, oh, opening might be harmful. Yeah, okay. We're going to copy these. The reason it says it might be harmful is all these are INI files. And they look at that extension. And any files, if you copy in any file into a program, you could be overriding configuration settings. We don't want to do that normally. But in this case, these INI files are definition files for radios. Now, we're going to have to go to this PC, to our local disk. To program files x86 and under a 
is the Omni Rig folder, and under there is a directory called Rigs. Now, a lot of these files are already in here. I'm just, since these are newer versions, I'm just going to go ahead and paste them over the top, and I am going to tell this to replace the files in destination. And I'm going to say do this for all current files. And it's asking me for administrative permissions to do it since they're INI files. And there we go. Done deal. Now I'm going to close this up and now we're to the fun part. Okay. Very simple. We're going to go here and we're going to scroll down until we find OmniRig. We'll go ahead and open OmniRig. And here we are. So it's asking for two rig definitions. We're only going to set it up for one rig. I'm going to use the pull down here and I'm going to identify my rig. And my rig is a FTDX 3000, and I'm going to choose the data version because that allows for commands for data. I'm going to have to set my baud rate, which for me is 3800, and I don't use D, uh, RTS or uh, DTR in my handshake. Uh, also, I think uh, my polling is about every half second. My timeout is four seconds. That should be fine. We're all set to go, and I'm going to go back in and make sure that you understand that I also had to choose a COM port. I know I went over that fairly simply, or quickly, but pop this back over, and it's saved my information. But I have to select a COM port that my radio is actually on, and in my particular case, uh, the radio uh, uh, technically is on... I believe 12 and then we'll just say okay and it's all that easy huh what do you think all right so with that now let's go to a real operating system and we'll talk about how we configure uh, that inside software all right all right so We've got our Omni rig all configured. Let's go ahead and launch our log for old men too. And we'll take a glance at it and see what it takes to get it set up. Now you see right here it's saying that I'm offline. I'm going to go to settings, to my program configuration. I'm going to look all the way down here under hardware configuration. I'm going to click on cat. I am going to select Omni rig and tell it to auto start and let me just look here there are lots of great choices in here some radios you need to invert uh, single sideband uh, some uh, uh, and there's three different choices for that some radios you need to uh, send a mode before a frequency change um, you know uh, omni rig disconnect cat on first off event and basically what that says is be uh, to be used on rigs that keep CAT enabled even when turned off. Um, we don't need to worry about any of that. As a matter of fact, all the default settings for me work great. So I'm just going to click Save and Apply. And boom! Look at that! Look at that! Let me change the frequency. Oh, you like that, guys? Look at that. Oh, boy. Wow. How easy was that, huh? All right, so that's all there is to OmniRig. Not really big and confusing, but you, you just have to know just what to set. All right, thank you so much, and uh, hope to hear from you real soon. This is AG6AG. Well, hope you found that interesting. It's not hard at all to get that set up. In future videos, we're going to go more in depth into Log for Old Men as well as looking at some of the other programs that OmniRig uses and how you can interface all those programs together to kind of work as one unit. With that, thank you so much for watching the video. And hey, why don't you click down there and subscribe so you get notifications as these new videos come out. And if you liked it, Click on like. Any questions? 
ask them down below in the comments. This is Stu, AG6CAG, saying 73, and hope to hear you out there on the air.